Welcome back to another episode here in our Houston Texans franchise on Madden 24, and we're about to take on the division rival Colts, who have been off to a pretty rough start at 2-4. and four. The Titans, though, they're keeping up with us. They might even still have the division lead after this week is simmed. And then the Jaguars, who were, you know, kind of the team that was keeping up with us the most early on in the, uh, the series... 1-5, not a great start for them. This division hasn't really built up its rosters as well as we have, uh, but ultimately, it's not just the division you're going against, it's also the rest of the conference. As you can see, that Week 9 game, a little bit of a rematch, a little bad blood, as they kind of smoked us in the playoffs, and we're looking for revenge. See if we can do that, but obviously, first things first, the Colts break out. Break, break out. Can I just even get to week eight? That's, I mean, even that's a lot to ask for these days. Break out DB. Could this be the rookie, Mr. Sermon? Can he get a breakout? Let's see if that is the case. Of course, looking at the players of the week, the Bengals uh, snatching up two of them, uh, and then Hutchinson and McKinney snapping the other ones up. McKinney on a little bit of a roll here. Back-to-back, uh, -back, uh, well, back-to-back-to-back, back back I don't know <laughs> wins uh, for two different players love and McKinney uh, obviously we'll uh, take a quick look at our roster just to see if there's any morale jumps or drops and might have a peek at if we have any upgrades but obviously we still have the training and then gotta look at that breakout DB of course Clayton just confusing the hell out of me and also I forgot Stingley with a severe injury out for three weeks with a broken thumb Mr. Shaquille Griffin going to be taking over that spot of the number two role, which, I mean, he knows it well. He knows this cornerback spot well. He's been the starter for a while, and, you know, last season he still played a lot of snaps, so it's not like we're throwing someone in that we don't know. We know what we're going to get from Shaquille. He's going to be pretty good. I'm not really too worried about it. Before we look at the breakout, though, let's take a look at any injuries the Colts may have. They are three and four in fairness, so they're not, like, the worst after that win. That, you know, keeps them in the conversation for sure, especially if they sneak out a win against us. Uh, and then the Colts roster. Have we played them this season yet? I can't really remember. This season has is, is gone very quickly, which is hard for me to remember things. I don't need to look at our team. I got to look at their team. Of course, we know their quarterback's going to be Anthony Richardson, but how good is he? Very strong armed. Medium accuracy is pretty good, but the rest is pretty rough, especially throw under pressure. I don't know what that... Uh, sense pressure is but if it's like paranoid you know you can see where issues could arise running backs aren't good outside of taylor but obviously when you look at taylor he's one of the very best especially when you consider the speed maybe the best michael pittman a very good number one wide receiver downs not bad but we really haven't seen him take that next step for them and then cedric wilson i feel like the last time we played um he kind of cooked us no pierce and then wicks uh, and then tight ends, Isaiah likely is, I mean, he's good. He's a good enough route runner. He's a good enough catcher, but he's not super dynamic. And then Jelani Woods, the guy that you would think would be their dynamic starter, they benched for him, or he's the backup anyways. Garrett Bowles at left tackle, even though he's not the highest of overall, he's a very solid player. As you can see, these ratings, maybe not in the run block too much, but pass block, it's going to be very hard to get past him. Replacing Ryman for some reason, for some rhyme or Ryman reason, I don't know. Quentin Nelson, the left guard, basically the best left guard in the league. Pretty, well, I'm trying to think. It's right guard that's kind of like the questionable one, right? But left guard, he might be the best, right? I'd imagine. Triplet, the center is not bad. The right guard, speaking of, not great. And then uh, Braden Smith, pretty good. So the tackles are pretty good. Left end, Quiddy Pay, still not developing that well, right? 80 power move at this point in his career is really low. Yannick Ngakwe returns with 79 finesse. And then DeForest Buckner is still really good. Not the best pass rusher, but his block shed's amazing. And Stewart's still here as well. So the run game could be troublesome to try and play through. Shaquille Leonard's a great linebacker. Hart's a very fast up-and-coming linebacker. And then Killings is a pass rusher. So, uh, I mean, they don't really have an option outside of Killings. I, I mean... EA's just got to do better. That's really all there is to it. Brents with a speed upgrade. No man coverage, though. Kenny Moore's small, but he's very good in coverage. And then Isaiah Rogers. Yeah, I mean, I think usually when we play them, we get a big player two on Moore because they're like, he's a really good corner. And then we're like, our guys are way more athletic, though. And we just smoke them deep. But let's look at this DB. Tell me it's Sermon. It is Chris Clayton. The more I think he's a superstar in the making... As I watch more tape, did you see his touchdown last week? I honestly did. I was there. Allow under 150 passing yards. Definitely doable, but probably not realistic. And then uh, instead, 
plus two to interceptions and whatnot. So this could actually be a little blessing in disguise that uh, Stingley's injured. I'm not sure if it will be, but it feels like Stingley gets a better chance at interceptions. You know, Clayton's uh, rookie year wasn't really filled with many targets, especially like interceptable passes. Uh, but looking at what they do, it's actually, you know, a little more even than I would have thought. I would still say defend the inside run, and then I would imagine their run defense is good. It's not good, but it's definitely way better than their pass defense, so we're going to go with throw it short and then do our trainings. All right, before we hop in the game, we have three upgrades. Scruggs I'll just do on my own because it's not really... He's not super significant, I'll be honest, and he's probably like, oh. <laughs> as much as I want to go Power Rusher, I'm actually going to go Run Stopper because I think we have a chance at a plus two, which would get him to 80, and I was right. I just know things. I'm telepathic. I don't know if that's good or not, but either way, Christian Harris is an upgrade now. Run stopper is usually the best for outside linebackers. Insides, obviously, field general is not even close, but run stopper is kind of like a mini field general. You usually get a little bit of coverage and block shed. Not this time, but a plus two to block shed for two different players is a win. And it is Sunday night prime time here on EA Sports. I think that's usually what the, the announcers say. Get a little taste of the old announcers that we always hear. Uh, but of course, uh, QB versus QB, the rookies, the high rookies, the top five QB rookies of the same class. Definitely a very uh, cool matchup every year and uh, should be a very fun one for the next, you know, decade pretty much. But obviously, as of late, we have had their number as a whole, not just, you know, quarterback or whatnot. Uh, I feel like the play calling could be a little bit better in, in Indy here as uh, they seem to kind of just stick to one instead of, like, mixing it up. It usually is, like, you expect them to run, and then the very first drive, they run it, like, one time. And then, like, a drive or two later, it's, like, nothing but runs. It's, like, mix it in. Keep us guessing, you know? You're going heavy the whole freaking drive. It's, like, I think they might be running. They might be running the ball this game. I don't know. And just, I don't know. I feel like it would be so much harder if they mix it up, but I do feel like the Colts so far have been a team against us at least where they just stick to one thing per drive. I, I don't know. We'll see if that happens here today. But uh, a primetime one, so everyone gets the opportunity to see what the Texans are all about. They kind of saw them a little bit last year as, you know, gave every team a run for their money, and then the Chiefs came in, and, well, I mean, we came in to KC and got smoked like that Kansas City barbecue, which I've heard of and never tried. Um there's Anthony Richardson, seven touchdowns, four interceptions, 1,500 yards. Don't know what the rushing numbers are like, but definitely a slow start, uh, especially for the touchdowns, but maybe Taylor's yoinking them. Who knows? Maybe it's rushing touchdowns. But either way, we're uh, a little light here considering, but we do have a huge safety in Sermon, and we completely gave up the edge. I don't know why I thought I could beat him to the punch. Great tackle by Shaquille Griffin, who... Was he playing deep safety? I'm not really sure how he's the deepest one there, but I'm glad he was because he made a really good tackle one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, pretty big gainer, and now it's Addison, the backup running back that's in, and we were on the other side. Josh Downs with a big play. First down and 10 after a 16-yard gainer. Throwing the ball against Griffin. I mean, obviously, there's probably going to be a game plan to throw against him for the most part, especially when you consider that even though he's, you know, he's been here and and he's played well for us, he's obviously older now and in general, still being kind of thrust into a spot that he no longer had. So there's a reason why he got replaced, and it's not because, oh, well, we, we just felt like it, right? We, we kind of had to move on, and he's good enough, but come back, Stingley. That's all I could say. And Hudson working against, I believe, Quentin Nelson and maybe the center... Kind of gets a freebie as Anthony Richardson doesn't really do a whole lot to get past him and just runs right into him. That was a definite weird decision. And over the middle, what a try, but that's going to be a big play. We over-pursued down to the five. Josh Downs talking about not having that next step already with 53 yards on the first drive. Shaquille Griffin very close behind, but not close enough. No help over the middle. He tries to get it, can't get a hand on it, and that's a massive gain for another first down. All right, let's get heavy. We're pretty good in the goal line, so, I mean, I've just completely jinxed it, but, you know, normally we're pretty good in the goal line, and we were out there. Get out there, and the big 6'7 guy gets to the one, Jelani Woods. Did they go QB sneak with the big man? Anthony Richardson's no slouch. It does look like a draw-type play, but... I don't know if this is really the smartest call. I think they should just go up to the line of scrimmage and do it. And doesn't matter. 
What is Taylor doing? Bro, Taylor just played it like they were leading in the fourth and a kneel down wins it and he didn't want to go in. What is that? They better hope they get it. And they won't! Taylor with an all-time legacy sell. And for the one, they might lose points completely. Although, let's call a timeout. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I... Oh, they're going to kick a field goal now. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, if I am uh, the coach of the Colts, even though it's Jonathan Taylor and you can't really yell at him, I kind of yell at him. I, I, like, I legitimately... I wouldn't even, like, be making fun of him. I'd actually get the medical coach or the, you know, medical staff there and see if he's legitimately okay. Like, that is concussion-level mistake. Like, NFL-wise, it's it's much worse than concussion if we're talking real life. We're talking about, like, you got hit in the head by a brick that fell from a building. Like, what is that? Like, why would he do that? And I don't, I don't know, dude. Donaldson has the kick return touchdown this year. He had one in preseason, but there's something off about him. I, it, I don't know if it's just because he's so tall that it's hard to get in and out of, like, blocks, but... It is what it is for now. It's 19 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, just under 2,000 yards. You know, that's the kind of numbers that a quarterback should be having at this point. You know, the interception's a little bit higher than we'd like, but, you know, there's been some issues. All right, there's, I can't tell you anything else than that. It's just, we've had some strugglies as Pierce going to gain about two. Last week, 84 yards, two touchdowns, good enough, but definitely not as Piercely as usual. And I'm not really sure why that is, but we'll, we'll get back there. We usually do. I mean, Pierce is still killing it. It's just you know, he's killed it more in the past as Buckner does a pretty good job inside. But Pierce ain't going to go down that easily. Gains three on what should have maybe been a yard. Uh, you know, maybe went a little too hard with the run there. But it's still manageable on third down now. Let's see what we got going for ourselves. And underneath Rudolph might be a fourth down go for. And it probably will be. Let's hurry up to the line and see what we got. Could always call another timeout. We already wasted one. So it's not like we're going to be able to use them. <sighs> Screw it. Oh, no. I know Buckner is inside stuff, which is insane, but I thought we could run past him, and I was dead wrong. Should have switched to a pass. I seen the linebacker creeping, though. Normally, I like kind of think, oh, that's free money, but the way they play that, I actually felt like... Get up there. He holds on to that. Apparently, a fumble. Wait, did we get the ball? Because it's first down. There's no way this is Stan. This is definitely a review. But yeah, I just felt like the linebacker was going to make a play on the receiver. And I knew they were coming with a blitz, but... I mean, he's down for like a month. What are we even challenging here? Two yards gain, so... Not a whole lot. Good hit. But probably should have dropped it still. Clayton on the other side. I don't know how much of a chance he's going to have at this scenario, but we're going to try. As Hudson... Clayton... What a tackle. I don't know if they're going to count that as a tackle for a loss, but for an open field tackle, cornerback versus Jonathan Taylor, that is ridiculous. Two yards on two throws to a guy like him in the open field is crazy. And a little bit of P.I. I mean, they're both entitled to that spot, I suppose. I don't know. That's that's tough. There's, there's, a, little, there's a little hook there. If I'm the ref, I might think, hey, oh, block? Blocked! Recovered by the Colts, but a great block off the edge. Brown! Little early, honestly. That ball just took so long to get up there. And our mistakes will not lead to points. Javon Washington on the inside. I mean, is Boyer not open? That's a tough one. Great throw and catch. Just barely got that in there. I think Leonard was on the play, too. So, not a slouch on that play that could have easily intercepted us. Do I really believe Boyer can get open? Probably not. But do I believe Nico can get open? Definitely. Oh, Boyer is open, actually. I get he was running away from the ball, but where is that throw, dude? He's open. Get that ball up. Inside zone. I mean, we literally can't run the ball against, like, any of these guys. I'm a double-team Buckner. Didn't think that uh, Stewart would be superstar, though. Ah, I should have maybe just stuck to the middle, but Snail gains four. It's good enough. Yeah, the Colts are playing some defense today. Let me tell you, they're playing some defense. Their, their offense ain't playing that well, but their defense is. Gonna have to take Pierce. It's a little scary. That ball kind of got away from us there. I thought maybe uh, Moore was going to jump that, but good enough. There was no time to go anywhere else. They have a decent front, though, when you consider Buckner's a god and then Stewart's decent. Boyer. 
running for a lot of yards on that drag. I mean, kind of going from the medium looks to the uh, the short look because we're not having enough time to really see anything deep. This is a pretty decent play if Pierce actually wants to get a block. Might be a quick third of Boyer. We'll see what the, the front's giving us. That's a really bad decision. I don't know where I'm going. Did I just get picked off by a DT? Okay, that's not a DT. I, I don't know where I'm throwing there. We are running out of time. Nobody was open, but just throw it away, take the sack, anything. I mean, the throwaway probably leads to a... Uh, who the hell is that? Who's number 82? Ah, wow, really holds on to that. But yeah, the throwaway probably leads to a, a grounding and the drive's kind of over, but at least we still have a chance at a field goal. It usually, it's weird because it usually does take a really dumb decision for me to, like, fix my ways. Like, it's kind of like, ah... Uh, like, the, the, oh, wow, what a tackle. But the whole idea of, like, they're never going to learn until, you know, they, they're held accountable, it's really true. It's like, if I feel like I can get away with a bad throw all the time, why would I ever throw it away? And then the moment it happens, I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll not be a dumb. They go back-to-back -back read options. Would have loved to see a fumble there from Clayton. Maybe that's his chance in this game, force a fumble against uh, Richardson rushing. Only problem is usually they don't fumble on read options, but... Either way, the Colts are in a good spot, mainly because of that lockdown defense, as we have under 40 total yards on two different drives, was it? At least one. I think two now. Yeah, two. So we turned one over uh, on downs, and then we obviously just had that interception. So two basically turnovers for our first two drives. Our defense isn't playing bad either, but wow, I don't know where the hell Taylor's going. He tried to just truck him and then run past, but Scott with the help. But where is he going? Left is wide open. Like, hell, if I had rush lanes like that, we would never even throw the ball today. Hell, might not even be able to. Oh, screen. Oh, that is so open. And we get out there with Christian Harris. He still gets the first down, but it could have been a lot worse. They were moving. The bodies were flying. The 36 with the, the rush from Murray. Oh, picked off by Griffin. He gets revenge. Scott, turn around. Oh, my God. Really? That's a pick six. Look at Griffin, though, feeling himself. Playing cornerback two today. Gets an interception. Shaquille Griffin. Let's see what he uh, was up to. Fist bump. <laughs> uh, he thought he had the timing route. Had downs wide open, and it's going to be a turnover now. Not really on downs, but that's where I was going with it. Didn't work out, so I, I reversed it. That is a tough one. Oh, I thought he was going to catch that. The safety Norwood mistimed it, I think. That was a really good throw. It got there in a hurry, too. Oh, my. What a waste. Tank Dell. And in behind goes Rudolph. Juke moves. I feel like he's got a really good juke move, and it just never works out. But he's still a gain of about 15 or 20. The run defense is still scary as hell, which is why I'm kind of, like, not running the ball. All right, read option. And they're not on it. We got a pretty good block from the tight end. And Stroud's getting blocks from the receivers. He's trying to stiff arm. Can't get there. Man, he looks slow there. <laughs> I got to say, you know, when we had those blocks perfectly lined up, I was like, oh, damn. We got ourselves a freaking touchdown. And not really super close. But 27 yards on the read option. They never seen it coming. And that's a tough one. Ford, beautiful catch. We had a couple underneath, so it would have gotten close, but I didn't think they were guaranteed touchdowns, and I felt like if we kept it with Ford, we would have got the touchdown, and it works out. Great play, and the score finally. It's been a weird one. A lot of points that could have been had, and the footwork just barely getting it in there. Beautiful. I mean, he was just, he knew the ball was coming to him, basically. All right, facing a second and 10 after an incomplete pass. Might have to press Pittman over the middle. Well, that's a little late. Oh, the running back's open. If Taylor stays in, this is a big play. And we miss hard trying to get the strip last second. Either way, big first down for Taylor. A lot of short passes. Three completions to Taylor so far. That was the biggest game. Four now, actually. One of the biggest gains so far. Uh, as it was a screen before that gained a decent bit. And the other two plays were actually basically useless. Stuck on the line. Perfect SWAT timing. And the ball is just a little overthrown. He had uh, Griffin beat a little bit. Griffin's not going to play perfectly. But what he's going to give you is very high effort which is why he got that interception, but has also gotten beaten for several big plays. So you win some, you lose some, which is fine by me. And no Igbenogany this time, losing some, going up against Mr. Pittman. Could switch it to best on best as 
Clayton is significantly better than any of the corners we have currently out there, so we'll, we'll see for now, but Clayton now going against the freaking tight end, it seems. Oh, no! Clayton picked up the block. Murray got in free, and it's a great play. But getting this dev up is, I mean, basically almost bigger than the win itself. You know, the division is, is not locked up, but we're in a pretty good spot right now in the division. And losing the game, but getting a superstar dev up for our number two corner would be massive. Like, we would have the best corner duo in the league. Back to the read option. Other side this time. We can hand it off if we have to, which we will have to, as Washington gains about nine. I'm telling you, there's something weird about him where he just... Just falls forward on everyone. Like he's so tiny yet he gives everyone troubles when it comes to like trying to tackle him. That's a really good throw in behind. A little late there. That play action felt like it took so long. I don't know if it's if the play action actually took long or if it's just that Ford is so fast, but whatever it was, it was it was late as hell. And we're gonna bounce this. Get there, Nico! Good job, stiff arm. Not bad. If Nico got there a little quicker, I couldn't go any slower. We would have got caught up from behind, and it's a hell of a play, though. It's a big play. Run game finally opening up a little bit. See route for Nico. Please. Oh, just overthrown. Found Ford. Ford's just so quick. And I think I got to trust the one-on-one -on -one with the uh, tight end here. Maybe not. Wow, how in the hell did Kenny Moore see that? Size difference alone, if you would have picked that, that would have been the most hilarious joke going. Kind of sputtering here a little bit. I mean, points are points, so let's just not throw a pick. That's a tough throw. Let's just not throw a pick! How about, you know, points are points! Let's not throw a pick! And instead, interesting decision, throwing a pick. I mean, he did, like, did he not look open? I don't know, I tried to throw that middle and... Uh, Rudolph just kept going more and more to the middle of the field, and I, I, just, I just wanted to get that inside more. And it was a bad decision. I mean, that one I don't feel as bad about, though, to be fair. The other one is just, like, pure panic. That one was like, I thought I could get it in there, and it just didn't work. But the other one's like, it should never be thrown. Like, there's three freaking players there. It's never going to happen. Oh, my lord. I mean, he's so quick with the ball. Didn't even his own guy didn't even know. What is Griffin tapping his chest for? Like, he got burned, even though it's zone coverage still. He was the closest one at the time. See if Clayton wants to do something. Oh, linebacker's burning us. No, and another throw well behind him. Accuracy issues for Anthony Richardson. They're going to leave him and the offense with no score on a great opportunity. We threw away points for like the 40th time today, and they blew it on the drive. And yes, I am going right into their pile, but to the right there was like no blocks, so I thought maybe we get a couple of blocks to the left, we're cooking. It has been tougher this season though, I will say. I kind of wanted like an out route or something. I do not want to block from him, that's all I know. Oh my, that's actually really good coverage. Good try in the catch, especially since it's behind, but I did not think Leonard had that in him, to be honest. At the point of the break, there was a good, I don't even know, three yards of separation, and then he just closed it. Screen pass, they're not really on it. The blocks are really not there either. We're just going to go straight. I'm not going to try to juke. Try to juke right, and, you know, we get a stiff arm, and it ends up going backwards. You end up losing the two yards. Go straight in, maybe. Maybe you get away with it. I don't know. Play action. I think we run this to the right. Get the guards pulling, and we're going to go all the way right. Cut it back inside and be short. Good effort by the, the Colts. I don't know where our help is, though. And, I mean, I don't really think you can... I mean, I don't really trust the run game at this point because obviously they have inside stuff. But do I trust the throw? I'd rather have a Boyer. Actually, the sit down looks perfect because they're leaving it. And that throw is terrible. Oh my god, another fourth down failure. This offense right now, both offenses were terrible. Maybe I had someone else open. I don't know. But I thought the tight end would have been wide open because they had the blitzes. I think they actually bluffed it, though, which I didn't even know the AI could do. Nice hit again. Peter Griffin's injured. Great. Like, we need more edge rushers to get hurt. I can't see, man. Seaman. What? Four receivers out. Let's slide everyone over. Perfect coverage. Swat that. 
Thank God he dropped it. I literally was like, linebackers don't get animations. I'm going to swat it. And he doesn't swat it. Lord, please stop. Why do they hate linebackers so much? And the blitz gets there. Shaquille Griffin having himself a day. Abdominal strain. That's literally just somebody that has, like, diarrhea or something. All right, they have a chance to pin us, although he's going to kick it a little short. Maybe he gets uh, extra hang time with that. I don't know. A juke move, man. It's so crazy. It's like with the 6'6 six, six and the juke, like, highness, if you will, it's kind of crazy, which is why I always go for that, like, super out juke just to have a chance at it. All right, got a couple of drags. A lot of tight ends in. Boyer's going to be my choice most of the time as he's the most athletic, and he does things like that every once in a while. Gains 12 on what should have been 6. All right, got a lot of players to that right. Nico Collins on the inside is a nice play too, though. I thought they were going to go Boyer. Ford's open. Oh, my God. Is he supposed to go that deep? I think he is, actually. I don't know why I thought that was a deep out. Yeah, that's, that's kind of crazy. I almost just sold. And what is that throw? Who is he throwing to? Pick number three in the first half. Ford is open. And he hits the ground. I know it said pressured on uh, whatever. But third pick of the day. Some straight up buns. Isaiah Likely is the guy that's superstar. Okay. Trying to strip. Can't. And it's a fumble that I would love to be legit. But unfortunately it will not be. Oh, that would have been number one of two, which, I mean, mathematically speaking, it would have counted. It would have been halfway there, and we have a whole half left, but instead it is going to be Clayton with zero in the first half that I know of. To be fair, he did have that tackle for a loss. Close call, and somehow Josh Downs gets away with another close one. How in the world do we not get to that? That hurts. That would have been a knockdown. I Okay. First down and 10. 30 seconds left. Two timeouts. I mean, they're they're feeling it. They're chilled. Get up there. Oh, I missed so hard. And then a huge block. Will lead to a touchdown. We uh, do not have the lead anymore. We've got it. We got to wake up on offense. Like, don't get me wrong. The coverage is insane. But we got to wake up. This is ridiculous. We're better than this. We're just simply better than this. Oh, here we go. Downs doesn't really get much, but... At least it was something. I would never try to help up Donaldson. Did I say Downs get something? I've, I've, he's in my head. He's, he's here. He will not let me go. <laughs> but Donaldson, I would never help him up. He's too huge. Pull something trying to pick his big ass up off the ground. As Pierce slips the sideline for a huge gain of yardage. 50% completion percentage with three interceptions in the first half. Terrible performance, but... You like this from your quarterback to not really give up. And we're in trouble. We're going to get taken down. I mean, I guess I call a timeout just to run a screen here and see if we can cook something. Pierce is a monster on these, so you might as well give him a go. And kind of taken out by that guy. Oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> Wow, there is not a lot of happiness to be had in that first half. Other than the defense doing its job, his offense has really got us thinking this could be a loss. The Colts are cooking up something fierce on defense. Overall, we are still leading them in yardage, but score, they now have the lead for. Let's see what our goal is. So, I mean, throwing it short or running inside. I'm going to focus on running inside. Oh, I should have done outside runs. I'm going to keep going inside. I think we're just going to go double inside. Why not? I should have focused on outside runs, though. That was the big mistake. Because inside is just not going to really work against uh, the DTs they have. Which we kind of... Oh, I believed in Ford to get out there and pick up that block. But we kind of knew that coming in, right? All right? Let's go to Washington now. Not like Let's not like go there, but, you know. And we actually get a little bit of a look. Cutting inside, falling forward for six is Washington. Inside zone. I mean, we got to change this. What is this play, though? Wait. Did I not audible to what I thought I audible to? I thought I audible to the RPO. That's why I just spun, because I, I tried to throw it to him. Okay. Is that a blitz off the edge? There's no way that's a real blitz. It's got to be a fake. That's real. 
Gives Nico a wide open play, gets blasted, but gains eight. Definitely a different experience for us. We are not used to this. This play action looks crazy. I like Nico, though. And that works out barely. That guy was on our ass. He was inside of us. I felt penetration. He was all up in there. That was crazy. Almost as crazy as that description, to be honest. Collins outside, one-on-one. -on -one. Not going to happen. Let's go to Ford, who is blazing. Could have maybe trusted that block. I just didn't see it coming. I, I didn't really think he was going to get it. But they got us in, like, baby mode out here. Like, we legitimately cannot get down the field. It's good enough. It's a great throw, and Ford's got speed. Blazing all the way to the 26 with ease. And he's sleeping. My man's was fully fast asleep. Can I get the double team screen up? Because this should be... I mean, this should be free. If we're going to be honest, it should be free. And it is. Nice. Washington, first down. Just about even better than that. Gives us, what, five shots? Maybe six? Technically seven, if you want to get real crazy on uh, fourth down. To get this touchdown. Maybe more, if we only get, like, a few yards. Which we do. That's, like, literally, well, the second fight didn't really help. But that's perfect. First down at the three. This is a really good opportunity to score from. Especially a touchdown, obviously. Field goal should be a gimme, so let's just, like, not blow that. Oh, that's a touchdown. Damn, son! That was a good play off the edge by Gross Matos. That does hurt the soul slightly. I do gotta be admitting. Safety move? No. Nope. Washington out there, and we know he can catch. Slips up field to the three. Beautiful. Beautiful. This drive is is pretty big. It's a pretty big drive. Option plays might just be a handoff out the gate, but we'll see how they play this off the edge. And I'm telling you, he's a fighter. I'm telling you, he's a fighter, but it ain't working. Do we go with the QB draw? The snaky, snaky. Oh my god, with these two up here, is this really a good decision? A script. Nice. Good job, good job. Good job. We like it. We like it. We'll say that does remind me. Like, EA better not add the, the Eagles freaking brotherly shove. And I can't get there. Flag fumble. Picked up Stroud. Holy crap. 47 had it gift wrapped in his hands. And Stroud is like, gimme. He took that back with a uh, vengeance. And this ball is all the way back at the 16. Everything we worked for is gone. That sucks, but at least we didn't give up possession. That could have been really bad. Oh, and behind. Had to catch it like an idiot, though. Number 57, I think that was the guy. He went for the tight end, and we got it right in between them. To the eight. Slants. Middle linebacker's not showing he's blitzing, but he could. That's a tough one. Thank God it wasn't picked. I don't know why Rudolph's not looking for the ball. It's a slant, bro. It's not like a post or something. It's a slant at the goal line. How are you not looking for that ball sooner? Either way, we're going for the field goal to tie this thing up. Second and three from the 27-yard line. Pearson's still in for Mr. Griffin. And Murray. Oh, what? Get out there. You just never know. Oh, my Lord. How did they not give us the grab? We were right in front of him. Literally got to be inside of him. We've had enough of that today. We've already talked about it when we were running away with Stroud. Oh, nice hit. Murray ain't messing around there. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Let's not get uh, carried away with that celebration. We're going to get freaking banned, bro. Not sure why you want to do that. All right, let's see Murray. I pretended. We're on the running back. He's in trouble. Blasted by Hudson and Will Anderson for a half sack each. Now facing a third and 16. Defenses are going buck wild. Sermon come up. Murray is going to have to cover multiple. It's going to be a quick throw to the outside. Let's get there. Let's get there. All right. Just kind of playing prevent with the linebacker. Works out. No, Benogany got aggressive. It works. Probably should be the faster guy playing prevent, but, you know. Works out anyways. Get the stops. 10 all. Nearing the fourth. It's a crazy little defensive game so far. Could pull away here if we do uh, not the dumb. As no one's blocking for Donaldson. All right, let's run inside. Should be able to run away from the inside push. Which we do. And we get a lot of yards. Pierce with the spin off. Gains 14. 
read option, and it kind of works. Washington with the stiff arm gains three. Had a real big chance at a score there. Someone got deep, was about to take out the deep safety, and unfortunately we couldn't get there to meet them. We could waste the clock here. I do kind of like the look from Boyer. I think we'll take it. A little behind him. Great catch, though. I mean, to be fair, Boyer should realize the situation and not be trying to run to the safety, even if it's a streak. Either way, a whole massive high scoring 10 to 10. 101 rushing yards in fairness, so we're, we're kind of climbing a little bit. Obviously, Stroud's big 27-yard read option is, is kind of carrying that a little bit. Inside handoff for Mr. Washington. Denzel. And they're coming with the blitz. Nice block as Washington's going to gain about eight. Getting him involved a little bit more. Felt like, you know, a smaller guy that can get in and out of the blocks, you know, quicker. Might have been a better choice. So getting him more carries this game than normal. And we're in some trouble here. But Stroud's got a little bit of legs. And, man, Quiddy Pay with that dive tackle is ridiculous. I didn't trust the throw to Ford as he was still running away as well. And, you know, that's a really easy throw to miss. That's crazy, though. Give it to... That sucks. I don't know whose fault that is. It's not a great throw, but Washington still needs to catch that. It's a pretty simple throw, though. I got to give that more on Stroud, especially since Washington's a rookie and Stroud is not. Of course, the field goal is up and good, trusting our GOAT kicker. To give us a lead. And yet another seven yard start to the drive. All right. I mean, they're cooking up. Worked out last time, though, for us. Glover does a really good job. Takes one of the blockers out that would have taken out Christian Harris. Takeaways, 10th rank in the league with only one today. Uh, but overall, if you look at some other numbers like rush defense, I would imagine we're way higher than we are normally. And there goes Griffin. Griffin is in on this drive. And we missed hard, but Patriot doesn't. Having himself an okay game here today. And this is going to be another punt, I think, from the Colts. I mean, they're going to potentially lose this game just punting. Like, we haven't been great ourselves. We moved the ball a little bit better than them, though. And obviously, we put up slightly more points. But that's kind of wild. We have not played this well in defense in a long time. Good blocks as Donaldson finds a crease and is going to call a game. Still running weird as hell. Literally running like Medea. Like, I kid you not. Like, he looks like a tall guy that, like, isn't supposed to be tall. He's crazy. That is insane. Like, just when I want to crap on him because he's so weird and the yards per return aren't great. Don't get me wrong, there's some good blocks here, but the change of direction and, like, the agility he has at that size is just too hard to freaking defend. And he's just gone. Although he's not really gone, you know? He's, he's not even that fast, but he is fast enough. And I miss. Oh, come on, please, Sermon. Not a great tackle, Sermon. And he's going to be gone. Wow. Just when I talked about the run defense. So pretty good blocks up front, obviously. And, I mean, we're kind of we're kind of caught napping. I need to run in there, and I'm just playing so conservatively. And then Sermon's out here, but kind of mid-blocked a little bit. I can't really say that, but... I mean, we're on this. I run up. This is where I hit A. You can see it. I'm hitting A, and my guy just stops. Like, you can see him pull up. What is he pulling up? Like, why is my guy stopping here when I'm A tackling? He's right on him. All right, let's see if the kicker turner can uh, save the day. Oh, my. That was a weird cut. May have had the right side open, but obviously it's kind of hard to see from that angle. And we definitely didn't. See, when it's like this, sometimes I think that it's a wide open lane. And then by the time we get tackled, we realize it's like, oh, it's only because, you know, we're in there. But yeah, there's nowhere to go to the right. Thankfully, we have the 10-point lead, so uh, our lead is not gone. I don't know if I said it was or not. I tried to cut move because I thought he was going to think we would go inside. We've done that a couple of times today. And uh, he didn't fall for it, but we still gained nine, which is good. Might be a guaranteed handoff, but we'll see how the edge plays it like usual. And I think he would have given it to us, but the way they blocked Buckner, I could tell that we were going to have a freebie. So both running backs combining for about 100 yards in this game. No running back singularly having a crazy game, but together they're having a, a complete one, which is not bad. And another read option. They're going to read, and if I would have had... Oh, if we got past Kenny Moore, cuts to the right with the perfect block, I believe, from Boyer. And we are home free on a touchdown. Uh, that sucks. I don't think they're out here for this. 
What is wrong? Why wouldn't it let me hike it right away? There wasn't even an RPO at that point. It was literally just a freaking read. It was a play action. I mean, it works out, thankfully, but that could have been disastrous. Like, I don't know what's going on there. That's a tough throw, and behind him again. I am throwing a little bit behind on purpose so that I don't throw a pick, but so I feel like we should be able to stop there and, and get that. No? I guess not. Could be a quick throw underneath to Ford. It will not be. It'll be to Rudolph. Please catch this. You can't catch it because the ball is terrible. They're going to call a P.I. That is extremely questionable, but a week ago we got a P.I. that was questionable. So this will be accepted for the first down. In hostile territory, I don't know how we leave the stadium without getting stabbed. Well, at least... At least maybe the refs without getting stabbed. And again, this is like the only route on that play that's safe. We gained three to Dalton Schultz. Is this a freebie to Boyer? It looks pretty free to me. That's pretty free. Boyer, touchdown. I don't know why I did that. I just pulled the Jonathan Taylor, but luckily we got in there. I tried to dive because I felt like it was like guaranteed, but hey, touchdown put us up back by 10. The clock's dwindling. All right, Griffin, he's going to have the tight end block, but we should still be fine to get there. Not going to, and kind of caught him off guard, but more importantly, I think uh, I think Christian Harris got a piece of his like arm. Kind of got a piece of his elbow. Looked like his arm got on it. So otherwise, that should have been caught. Looked like a false start from the tight end. Like I know they're adjusting the lineup, but the tight end really didn't make like a, a move move. He kind of hesitated, and I don't know where the first down marker is. Good tackle by Christian Harris. Because if there's anyone in the zone, it should be us. Once again, it looks like the man that's sucking his own ween. What is that? Just like mass fatigue? Where's Clayton? Well, we're not going to have anything going here. I try to cover the slant. He pulls us away, and that'll be a first down. And sadly, that, uh, that tackle for a loss that we thought maybe existed earlier did not. So unless he gets a lucky late pick six like he had last week... It's not looking like we have a chance, and it's a great play over the middle, but a better play by them. First down. I mean, there's plenty of time. This clock, even though it's it seems like there's not much left, has been holding steady. That's our spot, too. Oh, man. I thought I could, you know, kind of go to the middle of the field. Let's change up last second. I'm sure that won't hurt the, the players. Good bait. Get out there, Griffin. Missed pretty hard, but... With help, I mean, it's another fumble that just isn't going to be a fumble that Clayton once again recovers. But I will say this one's a little closer because I felt like he was laying on a body when it happened. So let's see. He did not. All right, let's put a little bit more in coverage. They run it here. This is big for them. Got to leave the running back, and it's overthrown with pressure. Got the hard flat coverage. Now they kind of look like, hey, let's run the ball, but it's a little late. We kind of switched formation. Oh! Griffin, no, oh, I thought he had it. That's going to be another touchdown. Both teams kind of scoring a lot here in the fourth quarter, especially the second half in general. It's 10 all now. It's 27 to 24. It's a close game. Remember, we blocked a field goal earlier. This would be us with ball tied up. Be a crazy game. It already is pretty crazy, but imagine if it was actually like a tie game. I mean, at this point, you got to assume if we get the touchdown this time that it's... It's GG. And, I mean, considering hit stick fumble chance and all that, probably not the best decision. Not going to get too conservative. Like, if I see, like, a, a play that I like that I think is going to get us a first down, you know, I'm going to go do it instead of just running the ball as Pierce almost gets by the overrunning Norwood. All right, four yards gain, two-minute warning. All we need to do is be able to run six plays that aren't punts, and we win the game. And that's a really good start. That'll get us to three more plays, and we only need five more. Math. I'm I'm really, like, this is just becoming tough. I need to stop whatever I'm talking about. Ah, oh, Buckner. That is a massive play. I might have to change this up. I just, I kind of got complacent. You know, I was just like, we're kind of cooking them up without double teaming them. I, I don't want to waste any guys I don't need to waste out here. And it ends up hurting me in the end because he gets us at when it matters most. We're going to be wasting a timeout there, too, so this will be a uh, you know, stopped clock. Boyer, let's set something up here. Great catch, considering. Five yards. All right, they're telling us finally to go for it. Dagger, deep curl. I don't really need a deep curl. I just need a curl route. The deep curl actually would hurt me more. And there it goes. Perfect throw. Great catch. And we're going to hold on to the victory. Okay, relax. 
Nico, relax. QB Neal for the win. Wow. I mean, that was a tough one. The guy almost got back there. It might have been Kenny Moore, who's been great all game long. And who else to go to in your time of despair, your time of need, than old faithful Nico Collins? Where else would you go to? I really, honestly, the, when I saw the corner run hard at the at the running back, I was like, this is going to Nico no matter what. Even if the corner plays it perfectly, it's going to Nico. I'll give him a chance. And it's almost like a jump ball situation. Great play, and we'll hold on. Throw a 27 to 24, a little bit of a lower scoring game, but end up in the second half, kind of get into that semi-high scoring status. And the Colts are proving that they are far from done this season. I know they dropped a 3-5, and five, which is a, a rough schedule to take, but they still have plenty of chances to climb into the playoff pitcher. And the season is really only just beginning. And we're halfway through. Do have the trade deadline here, so if there's anything of weakness, we might be able to make a trade to try and bolster the roster up for the postseason. But overall, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Maybe one more decent corner wouldn't hurt, but... I mean, that's just ultra luxury at this point, as most teams don't even have one of our decent corners, let alone two of. Uh, and then looking at the quarterbacking, uh, Anthony Richardson was technically a little bit better, but I think Stroud had a little bit tougher of a time. Like Richardson had a lot of time to throw in that game, and he still was you know, struggling to find anyone. Taylor had a big uh, you know, run that led to that big yards per carry game, but you know, we were a little more consistent than they were, as you know, our runs were a lot shorter than theirs. Receiving Downs was definitely their best guy. Ford was pretty good for us. Boyer was pretty good for us. And even though Nico Collins really didn't have many catches, he came up with the biggest one at the end of the day, and that's what matters most. Sack totals, they had pretty much all of them, but we did have three total. Uh, and then interceptions, Blackwell, Blackwell, Blackman, and Kaiser White, and Norwood. And then we had one with Griffin, and their missed field goal on that block was really the thing that made the biggest difference as we only hold on to a three-point victory. And for upgrades, it's just Mr. Ryan Stonehouse, which, I mean, his kick power doesn't need to go up, so I guess we'll go accuracy. And it's two to accuracy, so he is now 95 kick accuracy, 99 kick power. Do I put him in a different position every time we need to upgrade him next time and try to go, like, wide receiver or something, or quarterback, maybe, and uh, try to go for speed or throwing abilities? But yeah, Chris Clayton did not get his breakout. It was a close try as their pass yards were actually not that much higher than the, the required amount, which, I mean, I have to say is basically impossible to get. But obviously next week is against the Chiefs, then the Chargers. So if we play like we did today, we're probably going to get smoked in both of those games. But we still have this trade deadline. We'll take one last look at the roster and maybe see if there's a position that we could improve on uh, looking at the offense. Maybe an offensive lineman, but I mean... Backup Titus Howard and Bernie Bell are pretty good. We got Josh Jones as a backup to him even. Uh, tight ends have always been pretty healthy for us. Uh, looking at the receivers, that position has been set for a while. Uh, running back, they're dimed a dozen. So if we got like all of our guys injured, we'd still find a quality one in free agency. Uh, and then corners, like I said, maybe another corner. We've seen a lot of Brown today, and even though he did all right, I'm, I don't know, maybe we get someone new. 27 years old, he's been around the block, but I think a new corner would not hurt. Uh, and then that's kind of it. I think that's really it. We're, we're pretty stacked depth-wise pretty much at every other position. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, I do appreciate your continued support on the channel. And uh, there should be a rebuild a little bit later today. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!